Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. If you're planning to install an IPAC telephone entry system, this video will teach you best practices of how to prepare and what to look for at a commercial or residential site. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. Carefully planning your installation by surveying the site is the best way to ensure proper function of the product and to avoid problems that can lead to costly delays during installation. LiftMaster has created a site survey form to assist you in ensuring the site meets all requirements, including network, internet, and SIP requirements, installation location requirements, and compatibility considerations. Let's start with the connectivity requirements. IPAC products use computer network connections and internet protocol communication. You'll need to confirm that the site has internet service. The site owner or manager must also have an account with a SIP telephone line provider, such as phone.com. If either of these is not available, they must be ordered. The network connection on the product is a 10100 Ethernet interface with an RJ45 jack. This must be connected to a LAN device, such as a hub, switch, or router with a CAT5 or CAT6 network cable. The IPAC must be configured with the proper network settings. This will require the assistance of the site's IT network administrator. The preferred setting for IPAC cloud configuration is DHCP, which automatically negotiates a connection with the local network. However, if the site requires the use of a static IP, make a note of the following information on the site survey form. The name of the internet service provider. The IP address to be assigned to the IPAC the net mask, the gateway, the primary DNS, the secondary DNS, and the server port. Also note the name of the SIP service provider, the SIP domain, for example, sip.phone.com, the SIP port, which is usually 6050, the SIP extension username, and the SIP extension password. Best practices for hardware installation include the following. The IPAC can be mounted indoors or outdoors, but is for surface or recessed mounting only. Make sure there is clearance for the cover to open freely after installation is complete. Install the IPAC in a location within 300 feet of the LAN device to avoid issues caused by network cable limits. Power the IPAC using a dedicated 120 volt AC outlet located within 250 feet of the access control panel. This outlet should be wired back to its own circuit breaker with a minimum of 10 amps. The IPAC must be grounded to a good ground source such as an earth ground rod in accordance with local building codes. The ground source should be located within 12 feet from the IPAC. Use ground wire that is a minimum of 18 gauge and keep the ground wire as straight as possible. If you are replacing an Icon 26 or Infinity L device, you will need to order the Retrofit Trim Ring Kit IPAC RTR. The IPAC is designed to be compatible with a large variety of standard Wiegand, MagStripe, Proximity, SmartCard, and Biometric readers. It is compatible with Wiegand devices that transmit up to 34-bit data. You should also make a note of any optional equipment needed for the site, including cameras, protective gear, and passport receivers. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Learn more about our access control solutions when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com access control.